AMD's HX370 CPU really showed how far the company leads the mobile market against Intel. The only problem was the price tag, with minis featuring the CPU launching at around a thousand US dollars. Luckily, things have changed since then, and the Ace Magic F5A launches at a lower price point. Initial impressions are pretty good. Solid exterior build quality, check. Metal case, check. Well, in the middle. Most of the top and bottom are plastic. And the rest will go over as we deep dive into it. Hmm, deep dive. Um, what are we talking about? AMD's shitely named Ryzen AI9 HX370 ushered in the 12 core 24 thread mobile CPU with powerful integrated graphics. Before that, they were pumping out 8 core 16 thread variants for a few years. The iGPU in the HX370 is bumped up to Radeon 890M which is a nice generational boost over the 780M. Price-wise, Ace Magic's F5A starts at $669 US dollars after the coupon for the bare bones with free shipping. That's around 1,025 Aussie didgeridoos. While a 32GB RAM, 1TB SSD pre-build comes in at $819 US dollars or 1,235 Aussie boomerangs, which, while still pricey, is the cheapest launch unit we've looked at for a mini PC with this CPU. Although it does have the benefit of coming out months later after the competition. Oh, and just a friendly reminder to please use my affiliate links as they make up the majority of the channel's income at no cost to you and no sponsors. Cool, right? I think it's cool. The F5A comes with a 19 volt, 120 watt power brick. It also comes with a HDMI cable and Visamount. Sadly, it's not a GAN power supply, so it's bigger than usual. Port-wise, I think most people will be pretty happy. Apart from the 3.5mm audio jack, there are two USB Type-A 10 gigabit and a fully featured USB 4 on the front supporting power and display. Next to it is a glor- I mean, microphone and reset hole. On the side is an Oculink port. For wireless and Bluetooth, Ace Magic has gone with a MediaTek Wi-Fi 7 chip. On the back is another fully featured USB 4 port, dual Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN, HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 2.1, a USB 10 gigabit, and USB 2. Yeah, that's a pretty good selection to please everyone at the same time. What do they call that? An or oh, never mind. That's low hanging fruit. This is one of those mini PCs that wants to annoy you while you're opening it. I timed how long it took me to take off these four glued on rubber feet covering the screws and it was 1 minute and 42 seconds, or 20 seconds per foot. Unacceptable. Once those are finally ripped off, four screws to eject and then we can lift the hood. Inside is a 1TB Gen 4 Bywin SSD and 32GB of Kim2Go DDR5-5600 Sodium RAM both being cooled by a decent sized fan. I was hoping to try out my recently acquired 6400C sodium kit, but unfortunately the CPU support just isn't there. Maybe next gen. Both 2280 M.2 slots are Gen 4 X4. Buying one of the pre-builds will include Windows 11 Pro pre-installed on the SSD. Here's the Malwarebyte scan result for rootkits and malware. El Zilcho. Bueno. Ubuntu works fine with the latest version tested at the time of recording. Alrighty then, moving on to the benchmarks. In single core Cinebench, all the HX370 minis perform very similarly. Multi-core CPU performance is where we see a difference. The F5A is the worst performer out of the three, with the best balance mode result being 3.5% ahead and in performance just under 3%. Not a huge difference, but it's worth noting. So I did. In Geekbench single core, the Ace Magic F5A took the win. Unsurprisingly, in multi core, it's slightly behind again by similar margins as seen in Cinebench. Moving on to the short H264 CPU video encoding test, and all three HX370 minis are nearly identical. The much longer AV1 CPU encoding test lines up with what we saw in the multi-core benchmarks. The F5A is a bit behind the other two HX370 minis. 
When we switch the same workload to the AMD VCE encoder on the iGPU, the F5A takes the win. Looking at the Geekbench AI CPU data we do have, shows the F5A as the second best performer. In GPU, it depends on what metric we're looking at, but half precision is well above the Mini's forum unit. And that translates well to the 3 d Mark graphics tests, with the F5A being the fastest HX370 Mini with sodium memory. It only gets beaten by the B-Link SO9 with its fastest soldered LPDDR5X, which is 9% faster in Firestrike, almost 10% in Time Spy, and 7% in Steel Nomad Lite. For many, including myself, that will be an acceptable trade-off to be able to replace or upgrade the memory throughout the life of the Mini. In recent reviews, I've been testing the Radeon 780M iGPU in some different resolutions and detail. I think the 1440p medium detail comparison would be interesting against the Radeon 890M. So, let's start with that. No upscaling is used, native rendering only. First up, a few esports titles. You can see the HX370 is quite a generational upgrade in FPS over the H255, which is basically a refreshed Ryzen 8745HS. Cyberpunk sees the smallest FPS gains. But emulators get a nice boost. Overall, you'll see double digit percentage gains even with the same memory speed across both iGPUs and a range of titles. USB 4 and Oculink gives plenty of expansion possibilities. The usual test is with an eGPU, and as usual, we're showcasing how much better the Oculink interface performs against USB 4 using the same hardware thanks to the extra bandwidth available. Not many minis come with an inbuilt microphone, so let's test it. Testies, testies, one, two, three. Fair noise is coming through, and the microphone needs active noise reduction to make it usable. Some apps include this feature, but this Windows recorder doesn't. If you want the fastest compact mini PC for coding, then the HX370 in the Ace Magic F5A is currently the clear winner in the Linux kernel compiling test. It's also by far the fastest in Adobe Photoshop and takes another win in Adobe Premiere, just beating Intel's flagship mobile CPU. The included Bywin Gen 4 SSD is above average in the varied 3 d Mark storage workload, and the heatsink plus fan work great in keeping its temperature low. Bluetooth range is nothing amazing. It's a bit below average, but it's acceptable. More important is the wireless range, and happy to report my usual tests of playing a full game of Valorant at 12 meters or 39 feet from the router using the 5G band, showed no connection problem notifications, which is why I use this game for testing it. It's very useful like that, and also requires Secure Boot to run, so I can test that too. An idle power draw of just 8 watts is a good result. The maximum doesn't really go up much with performance mode. Both modes hit above 100 watts from the wall. Maximum CPU temp on the F5A is very low compared to a lot of the competition. It pretty much matches the B-Link SO9. Although, as we saw with that Mini, it had slightly better multi-core performance. While idle fan noise is higher than most, load fan noise is very impressive. 36 dBA under load for balance mode is a great result, and close to the B-Link SO9. The performance mode isn't bad either, but as mentioned in almost every review, I don't think it's worth the extra noise.
Ace Magic's F5A hits almost a litre in volume, which is a bit larger than the B-Link SO9. Most of the extra girth, I mean volume, is in its height. Want to access the bias? You can get there with the delete key on startup. One setting you will most likely want to change is the amount of VRAM allocated in GFX configuration. It's set to just 2GB by default. I'd go with at least 4 if you plan to game. Hardware monitor allows you to change the fan settings, though the options for tuning the curve are limited. Power configuration has wake on LAN and auto power on, as well as the power limit setting. And that, my friends, is the BIOS overview. Overall, I was really impressed with Ace Magic's F5A Mini. It has a nice feature set, good cooling, and low fan noise. I'm glad to see a bare bones option, which is the most compelling price wise. That being said, the price is still high, but it's the cheapest HX370 model we've looked at, and it's still really good. The power supply is too big for my liking. Many minis come with compact GAN power bricks, and it would have been nice to not have to add this point for the cons. I'd also have liked a lower idle fan noise. Those rubber feet are ridiculous. Just drill some holes where the screws are, or put the screws next to the feet. Make minis easy to open again. M Mitoa. This year we've looked at 5 mini PCs with Ryzen HX370 CPUs from B-Link, GMK Tech, Minis Forum, and now Ace Magic. Having tested them all, I can say the F5A would be my pick if I was itching for a mini with this CPU, and that's about as big as an endorsement as I can make. Since long-time followers will know recommendations are very few and far between on this channel. So well done to Ace Magic. The F5A is easily the best mini PC we've looked at from the company. If you're interested, check out the links below which help out the channel when you purchase anything. And I mean anything. Maybe the F5A is too much performance for your needs and you're looking for a cheaper mini PC with Radeon 780M graphics as seen in the side-by-side -side game tests. Well my friend, the Ace Magic W1 Warlord is one of the cheaper ones available and worth checking out. You can find the review of it right here. Cheers.